174174. That was the number the Nazis tattooed on Karl Targovnik's arm after he arrived as a prisoner at the Auschwitz death camp. Targovnik bore that marking for the rest of his life, most of which was spent in Topeka. This is Tim Wrencher, the history guy for CJ Online, talking about Targovnik. Targovnik was a medical student whose studies were interrupted by World War II. The Nazis killed Targovnik's parents and brother in 1942 when they removed the Jews from the Polish ghetto where he lived with them. Because Targovnik was a carpenter, he got to stay until the end of 1943, helping rebuild the ghetto to give back to the Poles. Targovnik and other prisoners were then taken by train to Auschwitz, where he was forced to unload corpses from arriving railroad cars. Targovnik stole food to ensure he had the nourishment to stay alive, knowing that if he were caught, he'd be killed. Targovnik had been held in four different camps by the time the Allies liberated him at Dachau in April 1945. By then, his weight had dropped to 85 pounds. He testified at the Nuremberg war crimes trials, resumed his studies, and came in 1949 to the United States. Targovnik moved in 1951 to accept a psychiatric residency in Topeka, where he went on to become a faculty member at the Menninger School of Psychiatry and section chief at Topeka State Hospital. He spent 21 years as clinical director of the Kansas Reception and Diagnostic Center before retiring in 1983. Meanwhile, Targovnik bore witness to the horrors he'd seen by speaking regularly before students and civic groups. Targovnik was 80 years old and had been ill for several years when he and his wife Shirley died together of suicide in 1996 at their Topeka home. Targovnik's daughter, Sarah Adler, donated his concentration camp uniform, shown on the right in this photo, to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum, where it remains. This is Tim Wrencher, the History Guy, for CJ Online.